Well, hey, here we are, uh, fourth season in Colorado. On uh, We're hunting with Bull Basin Outfitters, and we're hunting with Master Guide Evan. <laughs> and we've got a hunter here that's got a tag in his pocket named James Hetfield. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're, it's the night before the hunt, so that's why we're not, he's not in orange and why he's not packing a gun, but we're seeing a lot of deer, huh? Because wearing orange is the law. And we follow the law. We do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we're just scouting here, and Evan, you seen anything good? There's a lot of deer out there, picking through them. Yeah. yeah there's a bunch of odd ones scattered out through out there, too. I don't I can't, can't put antlers on them, but. Well, we got probably 30 plus does and one one good sized buck. We're out here in the middle of November and the great part about that is these deer are rutting. So usually if you can find the does, there's there's a buck close yeah, by. Yeah, it's been years since I've done a mule deer hunt. I've done it for, I don't know, probably 15 years or so. 15 yeah. years since you've yeah. hunted mule deer? Yeah, up in Meeker area and a couple other places in Colorado. So not uh, too far from here? Nope, not at all. Fantastic. But, uh, you know, mostly along the river and the meadows and you know, not monsters, but we're, well, here, we're here to change that. Absolutely. <laughs> Last year uh, we hunted on the Muscalera for elk and, and got you a beautiful, you harvested a beautiful elk down there and now we're hoping to get a get him a little buddy on the wall, huh? Absolutely. He's lonely. <laughs> I keep taking pictures of him though. He's still beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably about out of backtracks for elk. Yeah, oh yeah. Freezer's empty. Time for a deer. Maybe not quite as good as an elk. But... Ranger, so that's always a good sign. Now we just gotta go find some bucks. Get one down right here. Got his lips, he's got his mouth open. What do you think, James? Is he a good one? He's horny. <laughs> he is horny. Not a shooter. But if I look in there again ten times, it might get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> so you just call it and move on. <laughs> it makes it safe. Okay. Drive away shot. Into yeah. sunset. Off into the sunset. <laughs> When you started in when you're 18, when would you say it really kind of got cranking? Like 21 or? Well, as soon as we did our first gig, years. it was cranking, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. okay. We can do this. We're gonna make it. Yeah. And that was it. And and you know, every little step was a success. As Metallic, our first gig was at a little club, a little in, club? in Anaheim. Yeah, called Radio City. <clears throat> you started there. Yeah. Yeah. I think our first paycheck was 14 bucks. Awesome. Didn't even we pay for check. your beer, probably, huh? Did not. Pay. It didn't cover the tab. <laughs> Definitely did not. <laughs> and of course, you know, we had to split that, you know, four ways. So I'm not good at math, but that's not a lot. <laughs> that's awesome. We stuck to it, and and there's just a passion there that is undeniable. And, you know, you can't go wrong if you follow that, I tell you. You know, you find something you love and the money will come.
I think he is that same. He's same the same one, one we saw. Yeah, yeah, definitely is. Yeah. Pretty deer. We've we've got a buck located that we've seen actually. We saw him the night before the hunt and saw him again this morning. And uh, he's getting bigger and bigger. Pretty deer. <laughs> he the, the good thing about him, he hasn't moved freaking two hundred yards from where we saw him two days ago. But every time we look at him, man, he gets seems to get bigger. <laughs> Well, he's got go. <laughs> he's got quite a harem with him, so I think he might be anywhere. king king buck of this mountain, huh? Yeah. yeah. And what about you? What do you think of the mule deer hunting? I've been having a good season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. You know. And yeah, you're right. I mean, a deer like that, I'd I'd have I'd had a I'd have had it in the back, and and that's it. But I love this this terrain, the this. Just the the vastness of it, the the size of this property, is spectacular. I don't know if it's it's a huge ranch, so it's just fun sitting in these rides, kicking around and glassing over every knoll. There's a deer, <laughs> yeah. and you get to say, "Stop!" Yeah. <laughs> and glass and look, and okay, there's something. Oh, what's she looking at? You know, <laughs> there's uh, there's action. So it's never a dull moment here for sure. Yeah, so I just don't want to I just don't want it to end too soon. And there's deer right here on the hill. And uh, come here, let's interview them. To target rich environment. <laughs> target rich environment, let's get the deer to come up for an interview. But that's the great thing about Colorado. Where's it's, Grandpa? It's it's beautiful and it's vast and there's lots of deer. So let's go find a monster now. Sounds good. We've got one uh, one in the basket. So what do they say? There's some saying for this one. But... Well, Something bird, really cool is it, is that you could say. Hand? Is it the bird in the hand thing? We've got a, that's the one. That's it. That's the bird in the hand. There's a bird in the hand up There's here. There's a deer in the sage. There's a deer in the pool. <laughs> We got a better look at that buck we, we glassed up last night, and he's nice. I mean, he's got big forks. He's a beautiful deer. He's heavy. He's uh, real dark, chocolatey horns. Just when you think of a big Colorado mule deer, that's uh, that fits the ticket right there. But um, we're gonna get a little closer so the camera can get some good footage of him. Then we're gonna let old Papa Het decide if he wants this one or the one on the front or what he's thinking. But hell of a morning. Beautiful deer. Well, I tell you, it's a good problem to have. I mean, yeah. well, I think I'd want wider than thicker, but. Let's go shoot that big frame one on the front. Man.
Sweet. All right. Whoa, whoa, coming off the cliff. <laughs> well, this morning we had uh, one heck of a morning, really. We um, we went to a different area this morning. There's deer everywhere. Yep. I mean, we saw a couple nice bucks, and then all of a sudden we saw a, a really big buck. We debated pretty hard, huh? Yeah. We'd seen this one before, and we'd seen that one before, and we're basically, basically, you know, I'm happy with anything, really. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm a meat great. hunter, so, but, you know, since we had such awesome weather, awesome land, awesome company to drive around and, and you know, be a little picky. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's go see what we got. What do you think you're buck, bud? Quite a magnificent beast. He is a magnificent yes, beast. Yes, very blessed to be out here and fill the freezer, no Absolutely. doubt. Well, hey, here we are with James's buck. Uh, as you can see, he's beautiful, man. What do you think of this deer, Evan? Awesome buck. Um, have, had you seen this buck before this season, or you just showed up? It just showed up this season. I wasn't here for his third rifle, just one of those fourth rifle bucks that show up like Christmas. Oh, yeah. What do you think, what do you think Papa had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this fit the bill? Beautiful. Look great on the wall, look great in the freezer. And yeah, beautiful cape. Yeah. Yeah, great shape. He's just a beautiful Colorado muley. Obviously, uh, his back straps are gonna taste delicious, but uh, I think this mount on your wall is gonna look pretty good too. You bet. <laughs> hey, uh, we appreciate you watching the show. Thanks for watching The Fierce Life, and make sure you tune in next week for more great hunting adventures.